I now want to show you how to carry out a risk ratio, otherwise known as a relative risk calculation, using SPSS. Now the main difference between a risk ratio and an odds ratio is that we use risk ratios predominantly for cohort studies, that is a study of a group of participants and looking at them forward in time. Unlike odds ratios which predominantly look at case control studies which are retrospective. Okay. So the data I'm using is taken from a large-scale study um, that's been going on for many years. This was a paper published in The Lancet in 2003 from the Million Women Study and it was looking at a possible link between the use of hormone replacement therapy, HRT, and the subsequent development of breast cancer. So my first job is to put this into SPSS. So here we are in SPSS and just like I did with my odds ratio video, the first thing I had to do is to define some variables. Now I have got exposure groups and disease groups, so I've defined two variables, exposure, which is nominal level, and condition, my disease condition group, which is nominal level. And you can see that I've given some values just so that SPSS can report my coding. So for the exposure group, I've given one, when the group is HRT, hormone replacement therapy, and group two for those who did not use HRT. Similarly, for the disease variable, the one I'm calling condition, I'm calling as one, those who have subsequently developed breast cancer, and two, those who did not go on to develop breast cancer. There's a third variable called count, which is simply my frequency, the number of participants occupying each of those four possible combinations of conditions and this also has to be nominal level. Now the data table you just saw I've now put into SPSS um, so there they all are, four possible values. It's arranged a little differently to the way the table looked but this is important that I put in a way which is understandable by SPSS. Before I can run the relative risk, the risk ratio calculation, there's one more thing I need to do. If I click data and go down to weight cases, I want to tell SPSS that those values in that variable called count are actually frequencies. So I'm going to click on the frequency count variable, click on weight cases and now put that into the frequency variable. By clicking OK from here on in, SPSS will understand what that particular variable is doing. Okay, so to run a relative risk, a risk ratio calculation, it is exactly the same procedure as an odds ratio. I click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and go down to Cross Tabs, which you recall was short for Cross Tabulation. The Exposure category, whether you have or have not used HRT, I put in my rows, and my disease category, whether you have or have not subsequently developed breast cancer, goes into my column category. I next click on statistics to let SPSS know which tests I want it to run, and the only one I need to click there is risk. Now by clicking this, it will give me both the odds ratio as well as the risk ratio. I'll have to be disciplined to ignore the odds ratio values because that would not be appropriate in this case as we are dealing with a cohort study. Click OK, click OK again, and here are my results. There are three tables, just as we saw in the odds ratio calculation. The top table simply gives you a summary of the amount of participants that you have. You can check to see if there are any missing values. The second table um, is what you would recognise as your usual data table for a risk ratio. It's also added values for totals in the rows as well as the columns. But the one we are most interested in is the bottom one, is the risk estimate table. And there are three main lines of output. The top line, which we'll, we'll not consider here, is the odds ratio. And as I've said, that's not appropriate for this 
particular piece of analysis, being a cohort study. In fact, there are two lines giving relative risk. The one I'm interested in, the middle one, is the relative risk for where the outcome is the development of cancer, breast cancer, and the lower one is the relative risk where the outcome was not the development of breast cancer. SPSS does not know which way around we are focusing, so it will give both combinations. The one we are interested in is the second one down, the 1.837 value. This tells us that women who take hormone replacement therapy are around 1.8 times more likely to subsequently develop breast cancer compared to those who do not undergo hormone replacement therapy. Well, I hope you found that of some use uh, and taken together this video looking at relative risk and my previous video looking at odds ratio will hopefully give you some idea as to how to use SPSS in the working out of these two measures of the strength of association that one finds in both cohort and case control studies. Thank you.